You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, in today's tech segment, uh, we have a unique product. Pop-Up Commercials is a company that creates advertising space for streaming companies when their subscribers press the pause button. Here's how it works. Pop-Up Commercials creates additional advertising inventory for content providers simply by pressing the pause button on the remote control. In other words, you're watching TV, you pause it, and the commercial pops up. We've already built several prototypes on different platforms. We have agreements with some of our strategic alliances and our utility patent is paid for in full. There's a few problems in this space. The first is a bit personal. Uh, I worked in Hollywood for 20 years and saw a lot of filmmakers and production companies throw thousands, sometimes millions of dollars down the drain because the film they worked so hard to produce couldn't find distribution. Well, that problem can be solved through digital advertising, but 69% of viewers already feel that ads and uh, free content are too intrusive. In other words, you guys are tired of commercials interrupting your favorite TV shows. This is where pop-up commercials can help because we're allowing the viewer to potentially have a commercial-free viewing experience if they never press the pause button. We're also generating revenue for the content provider when the uh, viewer does press the pause button. And three, we're filling a void, which is lack of available video advertising space that a content provider can even sell to an advertiser. The digital video advertising market is an $18 billion a year industry. It's set to explode to about $30 billion by 2022, at which point we expect to have just under 4% of the market. We make money with content providers that distribute TV and film, streaming radio, video games, and podcasts. And we earn roughly 25% of all revenue generated from CPMs or cost per impressions when their subscribers pause. Our competition is AT&T and Hulu. They have a very archaic method of delivering ads compared to us, but we love our competition because them, along with a few others, have market caps of $200 billion each and can easily buy us out, which is part of our exit strategy. Our team has a strong background in tech, entertainment, media, and advertising, all key disciplines for success in this business. A few takeaways for you guys is that we're in between alpha and beta testing. We have agreements with some of our alliances, and we do have an exit strategy through our competition. Thank you. Joining me now is the CEO of Pop-Up Commercials, Charles Johnson. Charles, glad to have you on the show. One of the reasons we're doing this because we wanted to highlight what African Americans are doing in the tech field. Uh, and, uh, and the reality is, I mean, this is a place in the advertising world anyway, there are few of us. And so it's the same case in tech. Absolutely, absolutely. Man, you're doing your homework. Where did you even find that? <laughs> that intro there. Um, we have a few changes that happen from there. There's a lot of updated information, but yeah, you're right. There's a, a definitely a void of uh, color in the tech industry, and um, I, I didn't realize that until I started getting into it. My background is actually as an entertainment as a writer, um, but once I saw the void in this, um, you know, I, I took full advantage of it. Uh, and so for this technology, uh, it is, obviously you're looking at publishers, uh, people who have blogs, things along those lines. Uh, and so do black people even know y'all exist? No. A, a lot of uh, people don't know we exist right now. And you know how this came about was I was uh, someone sent me a clip of your show when you were talking about the IG battles with um, uh, Babyface and Teddy Riley and the problems that he was having with his platform and the, uh, the media was kind of beating up on, I'm sorry, the public was kind of beating up on him, uh, on Teddy, saying it was his fault. And you came out and said, no, it's not really his fault. It's the limitations of Instagram that's not allowing him to do exactly what he uh, needs to do. And you went even further and said that um, he really should be monetizing um, his, that battle on his own platform, not really throwing that money away to, to Instagram. And I think what's, what's going on is that a lot of uh, entertainers uh, and content creators, even like yourself, um, you don't really have or don't have access to people like my, myself to say, hey, here's a way for you to make additional uh, money on top of what you're doing or in place of it. So um, explain to people how does it work? If somebody out there, they've got a website, they've got their blog. So how does, it, how does this work with them? Sure. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I wish I had to share my screen, but I'll just do like this. So here's Roland Martin Show. 
here is an ad server company. So if someone is watching Rolling Martin, the Rolling Martin show and they press pause, a commercial is going, going to pop up right in the middle of the screen. But that commercial has to come from somewhere. So it's going to come from an ad server company. So uh, your viewer is watching it. They press pause. It sends a signal to me. And then we send that signal to the ad server company and say, hey, Joe Blow is watching this. He likes Nike and Lexus. Nike and Lexus will battle over which uh, commercial should be sent to you. And then they send it back to us and we send it to them. And this all happens in fractions of a second. Wow. Wow. And so uh, have you been so when did y'all launch it? How long has it been operational uh, and what is your hope? How many publishers do you want to have by the end of the year? Oh, boy, I, I, I want to try to get as many as I possibly can. But um, we're in testing phases right now. We're uh, up and running on iOS, Android and the web, uh, which is essentially what they call web and mobile. We're going to start uh, integrating into connected TV, which is um, uh, like Apple TV and um, Roku and Android TV. Uh, so that's going to be our next phase. Um, so we're doing testing right now. We're in talks with uh, this company in, in uh, Southern California called uh, Pilot X, and uh, with them and Rolling Stone Magazine, we're going to be doing a test with them, as well as a video game company actually out in Houston um, to uh, start our testing with them, uh, get get some data going, and then that should be able to attract not only the advertisers but uh, publishers as well. Gotcha. Now, do you have that now? So, do you are your advertisers already lined up? There's a couple of ways to do it. So, um, I, I have someone that's handling the advertising specifically because it. it's not it's not as easy as it as it sounds. Right. Um, but they have relationships with ad agencies and with ad exchanges. That's kind of like the sea of commercials that when someone presses pause, they you know there's a little bidding process and then the commercials go through. So. Um, they have relationships with those uh, two entities, and um, that's how the uh, commercials will be served. Um, and you don't want to, it's kind of a timing issue. You don't want to go too early, but you also don't want to go too late. So when we do a test with uh, any of our, uh, our publishers. We want to make sure that the publisher is kind of publicizing their, their platform, letting them know what they're going to be doing. So in the case of Teddy Riley and Babyface, let's say uh, they partnered with us. They would essentially use Instagram as like their platform to talk about, hey, we got a battle going on, this, that, and the other. We would go to um, to the advertisers and say, hey, Teddy Riley and Babyface are having an uh, Instagram battle on, uh, or a battle on this day. Let's put a budget together because th this is the amount of traffic that they have going through it. And, uh, you know, then it's a slam dunk from that point. It's all about marketing at that point. All right. Where can people reach you guys? I'm sorry? Where can folks reach you? Oh, uh, uh, if you want to, through email, it's info at pucks.tech, and that's P-U-C-S dot tech, T-E-C-H, info at pucks.tech. Um, or you can um, call us directly at 310-894-1202. All right, then. Charles Johnson, Pop of Commercials. We appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, then. All right, folks, back to our Rollmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Uh, this is the uh, Seek a VR headset created by uh, Mary Spiel, the sister. We had her on the show. Black black woman. She actually is the inventor of this particular headset. And so what happens is you just simply place your phone right into, uh, right into here and then, of course, close it up and then go to their website and then their app and you can actually experience, experience uh, the comedy showcase. And so uh, they have these headsets, these uh, VR headsets on their site, seek.com, uh, for sale. Uh, then also they have these 4D 360-degree headphones. First of all, I love the two stuff because they're in black and old gold, uh, my frat colors. Uh, but these are awesome because... Uh, for gamers, uh, it comes with it comes with a detachable uh, detachable headset, uh, and again, folks, it gives you 360 degree sound, amazing sound. If you want to buy these, you have a promo code you can use. This is just for our followers, uh, and it is RMVIP2020. RMVIP2020. Put that promo code in if you want to buy the headphones, buy the VR headset. You get that discount to buy it. They're amazing. So Seek.com. RMVIP 2020. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.